Guess what, YouTube? Yes, and you were right. We have another walk around review video on a 2024 Ram 1500 in the Laramie Crew Cab 4x4 trim. We're gonna be talking about exterior, interior, and specs in this exact video. Welcome to Vagabond Builds with James and Sandu. But before we even start this video, we literally ask you to put bread on our tables by, yes, liking and subscribing to our channel. And if you have something for us to email, Here's our email, email us so we can talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Folsom Lake Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram for providing us this beautiful truck for this walk around review video. Keep watching, stay tuned because we're also gonna be dropping this MSRP sticker so you guys get an exact idea of what comes on this truck and the price tag on top. Now let's go ahead and talk 2024 Ram 1500 Laramie. Let's kick this walk around review video off on the 2024 1500 Laramie, we have the 5.7 liter V8 e-torque with the eight-speed automatic transmission that pushes out 395 horsepower with 410 pounds feet of torque, everybody. Now, I wanted to show you guys something pretty cool. Check out that e-torque. If people don't know what it is, this is kind of like an addition to the engine itself, just giving the truck a little bit more spice and power to be able to tow, right? Now, a little bit about the MPG is 18 city, 22 highway, and a 19 combined. 5.3 gallon consumption per every 100 miles, 26 gallon gas tank size. Starting with dimensions, length in inches is 233 to 242, depending on the bed you have. 82 to 88 in width, depending if you're counting the side mirrors or not. And then 77 inches in height. This exact truck does come with a 392 axle ratio. Now, the standard is 321, but again, this has the Laramie Level 1 package, which gives you the 392 towing ratio, okay? Now, another thing I like to mention before we continue is this does have the sport uh, design package added to that. And what does that mean? We're gonna be seeing like the sport hood that we get on the 2024 Ram 1500. Now, this hood is different, a little bit more sporty, okay? Keep your eye out for that because of the vents up top. All right, three different places. And it has the 1500 Hemi e-torque here on the uh, top vent instead of here uh, on kind of that upper corner of that hood. This lighting system is the LED front lighting system with kind of that silver um, interior side of that headlight with a little bit of black going across. We left the daytime running light so you guys get an idea. The trim or the grill do come painted as the same color as the car with a little bit of matte black on the interior side of that grill, okay? This does not have a 360 panoramic camera, if you want to know, but it does have the front bumper sensors, okay? And fog lights here on the left and the right in the LED fog lighting. Moving over to the side, you don't have any fender flares, okay? Different trims will have different uh, looks or add-ons to the fenders. Suspension is standard. Wheels and tires, looking at the rim itself, kind of has a lighter gray color glossy with a chrome trim on that surface and they're running the bridgestone duelers hls and what are the what's the size of this tire it is a 275 55 20 okay moving forward to the side mirror this side mirror does come blind spot assist heated and automatic foldable dual colors same color as the car and a matte black plastic on the bottom no 360 panoramic camera on the side mirror integrated blinker lighting Ram in the chrome. For the door, you can lock with that button there as well. Get a load of that. And opening this door, get a load of how much room you have coming in to this truck, okay? No running boards. If you'd pay attention to that, wanna keep your eye out for that because different trims will have running boards. And look how nice and wide this opens up to that crew cab. It almost, uh, this back door does almost go perpendicular to that cab itself, okay? Now, you have two options between beds. You have, I believe, the 5.7 and the 6.4 bed. Um, that's why the lengths will range on the trucks. Standard tow, this does come about 7,100 pounds of towing on the GVWR, but when properly equipped, I believe you get up to about 8,300 pounds of towing. Moving to the rear end, got a camera here in the back near the handle, a electric soft opening tailgate, no spray on bed liner, all right? And do got four hooks, one in each corner, all right? And no LED lighting 
here in the back, so no bed lights, okay? So kind of simple, straight to the point. That back window does come with an electric slide back window up top, integrated brake lighting, but that's gonna be a little bit different on different trims as well. Keep an eye out for that, okay? Now, pop this tailgate up. Pretty light, okay, coming from different manufacturers and our different videos, if you guys check, some tailgates are heavier if you have uh, different trucks, okay? Laramie on the left-hand side, four by four on the right-hand side, dropping down in the matte black plastic step pads, same color as the car bumper and the dual exhaust with the tow package there as well. Your spare tire is under the bed, all right? Now that we're pretty much done with the specs, exterior, and bed area, let's go ahead and jump and talk interior. So let's talk Laramie Level 1 interior, everybody, and get a load of what this looks like in the all-black uh, sport design added package. Starting with the door panel, it's pretty much all black with a little bit of silver and chrome going around, right? Control units to your windows is there. Automatic foldable mirrors, control unit there. Memory seating near that handle. This is an Alpine premium sound system. Different trims, you'll see different sound systems like Harming Hardum, Alpine, and things of that sort. On the left-hand side of the manual steering column, you have your lighting knobs for the headlights, tail lights, and then lighting knobs for the dashboard. Your pedal adjustable buttons there, depending on how tall you are, and that parking brake button. Moving forward, leather wrap steering, you can control that info car there, that seven inch digital screen in the middle of those manual tachometers from the left side arrows on your steering wheel, okay? Now, yes, you do have the cruise control, the knob there for your windshield wipers on the left, your O snap, paddle, snap, o snap handles on the A pillar. Moving over to the dashboard itself, Alpine sound system on top, Ram going across on that silver inlay, dropping down to this beautiful vertical, fully digital infotainment screen. Just phenomenal look here. I want to show you guys what it looks like with the full screen being navigation. This is my preferred screen. Uh, if you drop really low level of trims, you will not get this screen. All right, my best advice to anybody would be get this screen. All right, now the seats here do come heated and ventilated just in the front. The seats in the back come heated. All right, I want to show you guys also some apps. Go ahead and go to apps, and you have the AM auxiliary Bluetooth device manager, things of that sort. Go to comfort, heated steering wheel, you got the passenger, and then go back to Navi. But I wanted to show you guys a little bit about the Alexa. All right, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. Go to vehicle, trailer, towing and trailers, and you actually get all your specs of what's going on as you're towing, okay? So this is the screen I wanted to show you guys. So that's a, um, sorry about the little uh, few seconds uh, mishap, okay? Controls to your dual climate controls on the right and the left, and also your vent there, the left. Knobs, trailer brake here on this control unit, traction control, tow haul, and parking sensor buttons as well. With here on the left is your controls to your shift knobs and four-wheel drive system. USB-C plugins, USB-A with the aux, wireless charging, no wireless charging pad, sorry, just two phone holders, different trims or higher trims will have the wireless charging pad, 115 volt inverter there with personal cubby room, slidable cup holders, and some more uh, uh, pocket room. Dropping down to the center council area, you got a splitter there for personal belongings. That's a pretty cool feature that you see that the old Dodge trucks will go from old to new. And then you have a measuring pad there as well. Don't know who uses this, but of course, let me know if you use them in the comment section below. And then a USB-A plug-in here as well in the top side of that armrest, okay? The seating themselves is a vinyl with a insert suede Laramie embroidered on that backrest, right? These do come power adjustable seats. In front of that passenger seat, you have two glove compartments, one up top, all right? And dropping down to a lockable glove compartment here on the bottom, okay? Now, up top, you're gonna have that button there for that electric rear uh, window, but that's pretty much it, no sunroof, to point out to you guys. But now that we're pretty much done with the front side, let's go ahead and talk second row seating and finish off with this video. Now the second row seating here in the Laramie Level 1 interior, guys, and get a load of the same look coming over from the front to the back. Armrest with the big cup holders, kind of simple armrest. If you do go higher trims, these armrests will change. The 60 percenter on the passenger will pop up. We don't have the utility uh, cubbies there, but you can add on to the 
uh, floorboard to have some little cubby rooms or little, um, I guess, little uh, separators or whatnot, okay? In front of the second bench seat, we got pockets on the back of each front seat. In between, vents, USB-C plugins, USB-A's, 115 volt inverter, and two heated seats for that back bench. I'm about six feet, two inches, everybody. So you guys get an idea. On this crew cab, there is more than enough room for the legs and the head clearance with a hat on, okay? The Alpine sound system speakers, very nice. So you're gonna hear what's going on on that Android Auto, uh, Apple CarPlay, and the Alexa built in, okay? Now guys, wanted to kind of go through a list a little bit. Now it's too much to uh, mention just off the top of my head, but this is a Laramie Level 1, and this is what you're gonna get on the Laramie Level 1, a Uconnect 5 nav, 12 inch touchscreen display, electronic shift on-demand transfer case, second row in-floor storage bins, power adjustable pedals, automatic high beam headlamp control, heated second row seats, park sense front and rear park assist, with the rain sensitive windshield wipers, forgot to mention that, rear power sliding window, mentioned that, power tailgate release, LED reflector headlamps, front and rear rubber floor mats from Morpar, 392 rear axle, anti-spin differential rear axle, class four receiver hitch and a trailer brake controller in the Laramie level one. Now guys, as promised, here's the MSRP sticker. So you guys get an idea of the price tag. It's coming in at like 71 and some change. All right, let me know what you guys think about that. Guys, thank you so much for watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds with James and Sandu. Keep watching, check out our other videos. Thank you and God bless you.